Welcome back. Here we are in our Kelly Linux machine and it is time we finally learn how to use that mysterious tool that is said to be the most important tool that we must master. Don't worry, terminal is not difficult to use. But before we get to open it and run a bunch of the commands, let us first define what terminal is. So what is it? Terminal is a program that allows us to interact with Linux operating system using different commands. We can create files, delete files, create directories, run programs, set different tasks to execute, and we can do many more things using it. It is important you get used to it, especially if you never used it before, because if you are coming from Windows or Mac OS, you probably are used to opening files or folders by clicking on different icons and navigating like that. For example, on Windows, we usually open files by double clicking on an icon and it will open that folder. And on Linux, we can actually do the same thing. So if I go right here, and for example, I want to open this home folder, I will double click on that folder and it will open the folder with all the files inside of it. But we don't want to be doing it like that. Let us see how we can do it using terminal. So let us close this first and we already know how to open terminal, right click on desktop and click open terminal here. First thing that we notice is username that we have right here and the host name that we have right here. But we also notice this slash desktop. This means that our terminal process has opened inside of the desktop directory. Does it always open there? Nope. It only opened there because we told it to open there. Remember, we right clicked on desktop and clicked open terminal here. If we, for example, went to the home folder and right clicked here, open terminal. Hmm, it doesn't say slash home like it did in desktop. It just gives us this wavy minus sign. Well, that sign in Linux means that you are in your home directory of your user. And our user is called Mr. Hacker. So the directory name should be slash home slash Mr. Hacker. And to check the directory name, we can type the command pwd. If we press enter, it will give us the current directory in which our terminal process is running. And it is slash home slash Mr. Hacker. And this pwd simply just stands for print working directory. If we, for example, go to the folder once again, which is slash home folder slash Mr. Hacker, and we double click on documents, try to open terminal here. So open terminal here. This will open a second terminal and you will see right here that it says slash documents. But do we always need to go to that folder and open terminal inside of that folder for it to be inside of this directory? Of course not. We can use a command called cd. And you should be familiar with this command since we already used it before. Let us test it out. Let's go to the documents directory from our home directory. So I will just close this second terminal. And right here we are inside of our home directory or slash home slash Mr. Hacker. We know that inside of this directory there is a documents directory since we managed to open it right here. And to navigate to this directory using terminal, we can use the command cd and then the name of the directory, which is documents. We press enter and here it is. We are in slash documents directory. If we type pwd here, it will tell us the current working directory is slash home slash Mr. Hacker slash documents. And for example, if we wanted to go one step or one directory back, we can type the command cd and then two dots. What this command will do is it will go one directory back. And if I type pwd once again, we will now be 
again in slash home slash Mr. Hacker directory. So these two dots tell the terminal to go one directory back. Ok great, but how can we know which subdirectories and files are in home directory for example? We knew there was a documents directory in home folder because we opened it right here. We didn't open it over terminal, we opened it right here from our desktop. Once we open it again, we can see all of the folders and files inside of this slash home slash Mr. Hacker directory. But we didn't see these files inside of our terminal. So how can we list them? How can we see all of these files using terminal? So we know which directories are available inside of this slash home slash Mr. Hacker directory. To check files and folders in any directory, we can use another familiar command, which is ls. And the ls command stands for list. So let's just test it out. If we type it, press enter, here we are. We can see same folders and same files that we can see inside of this window right here. So what we did for now is we used terminal instead of clicking on bunch of files, bunch of icons. We now are doing all of that with our terminal. Now that we know which folders are in this directory, we can choose which folder we want to go to and use cd command to go there. But let us go one directory back from the slash home slash Mr. Hacker. To do that, we already know we can type cd and then two dots. And by the way, cd simply stands for changing directory. Don't know if I mentioned that, but cd is changing directory. And now we can see once we went one directory back, we are in slash home directory. If we type ls here, we can see here is our Mr. Hacker directory that is containing these files right here. Since we went one step back, we can only see Mr. Hacker directory since this is the only folder inside of the slash home directory. Let's go one more step back. If I type cd, two dots, once again, now I'm in slash directory. And it is called slash directory because it is only specified as a forward slash. And we can't go more than that. This is the main directory that has all of the other files and directories in the system. If we try to type cd once again, you will see it will still be in the slash directory. And remember when I told you during Cal Linux installation that we will shortly see slash home slash tmp slash var directories that occurred in one of the installation questions? Well, if I type ls right here, here they are. These are all just standard Linux directories. And here is slash home from which we came from. Here is slash var. And here is tmp and bunch of other directories, and these are all just standard Linux directories. From here, you will notice that not all of it is same color. This is because not all of the stuff we see here is the same thing. Something is a directory, something is a file, and for example, we cannot use cd command onto a file. We can only use cd to go to another directory. So if I try, for example, cd, and I choose this file, so cd in it, rd.img, and press enter, this will not work. It will give us an error saying not a directory. But if I type cd and then at c, for example, which is this directory, and press enter, now I will be inside the at c directory. And here I can type ls to list all of the files inside of the at c directory. And you will also notice that here we got a mixture of files and directories as well. Directories are these dark blue names, while files can be other colors depending on file type. Usually they are white. Ok, great. We learned the basics of navigating through Linux system and directories using different commands. Now, before we finish this video, here is a practice test. Try returning to the desktop directory 
from this at C directory, using only the commands that we learned. I will give you right now a few seconds and I will show you how to do it. So try it out. Ok, don't worry if you didn't get it. This will come with practice, so here it is how we can do it. From the at C directory, we know that we must go back to the slash directory. And in the slash directory, we got our home directory. We can check it out by typing ls. And inside of this home directory, we know that we got the Mr. Hacker directory, and the Mr. Hacker directory has the desktop directory. So to navigate there, we can type cd home, type ls here, then type cd Mr. Hacker, type ls here once again to check out all of the available directories, and cd desktop. And now we are on our desktop directory once again. Great, so practice a little bit with these commands. This is nothing really too hard, it just takes some practice and you will get used to it pretty soon. And in the next video, we're going to see how we can create files and folders using terminal, as well as we're going to see how we can run programs. See you there.